the one guy that Bengals fans have questions about why the team gave him the kind of money they did, and I'm sure they saw something that we are not seeing, is Trey Waynes. So, so what is it that they really saw? Because they had paid them top corner money and they let Drake Patrick go. So they, they knew that he is a top corner. Honestly, I'd kind of love to get your take on this first before I take over. I think it's I consistent, think it's I think it's consistency. He's a very consistent player. And, and you go with consistency and you go with what's, on, what's, what's available on the market. And obviously there's a vision for the defense that he works into. People are always looking for some sort of amazing thing. But when you know what you're getting, that that's a good thing. Uh, Marissa. I think that's a really good answer. Um, and I honestly, I, I agree with you. I mean, his numbers speak for, for itself when exactly. he was uh, with the Vikings. And, and obviously there's a lot of new faces in the secondary. So the coaching staff wanted to kind of shake up that position a little bit and, and, and bring in guys who are strong tacklers um, as well. I know that was got really a point of emphasis um, in kind of retooling the defense for this year. And so I'm not surprised uh, that they that they spent the money they did on Troy Waynes. I'm really excited to see what he will do in, in the defensive scheme that Lou Anarumo is planning for this season. So uh, everything that I've heard about Trey is really positive and really great. Um, because of uh, COVID-19, I haven't gotten the chance to meet him or the other free agents yet in person. So I'm, re I'm really excited for the day that that will happen, that we get them in the building and you can kind of get to know them a little bit better because there's, as I mentioned earlier, there's a certain type of, of culture and certain type of player that Zach Taylor and the staff wanted to bring into Cincinnati and they're all, all fitting in, in in certain ways. And so um, I think it, his track record speaks for itself, his, his personality and his demeanor and what he is going to bring to the table is just, you know, exactly what Zach Taylor, Lou Anarumo and this defensive staff um, are, are, you know, trying to create and install because there's a lot of turnover on the defensive this year and obviously he fits in for a specific reason.